Hi everybody, I wanted to create a little introduction video for our class, Management 667. And so this class is asynchronous, which means that you don't have to come to the weekly lecture. But at the same time, I wanted to let you know I am going to do a weekly lecture. Maybe it'll be a mini lecture. We'll see how many people want to participate. But let me just use this video to share how the class is going to go, what to expect, you know, um, so you can feel comfortable and confident in the learning process. And I really want you to have a good time with the class. I want you to learn. And I want to say that if you do want to come to class, uh, here's what it will be like. You know, my teaching style, I've been teaching with Redlands for 22 years, 21 years now. And I love being a teacher. I love it. It's like the passion of my life. So I like to like I like to bring a lot of energy, positivity, fun to the learning experience. And I like to teach through Socratic dialogue, which means interacting about the material rather than just me telling you a bunch of stuff. And you take your notes, you take your test, you write your papers. That's boring. I don't use PowerPoint. I like to use Socratic dialogue. So instead of me just talking, I want to have a conversation with you and have you open up your mind and learn things. Right. So again, though. You don't have to go to the class, and I want to honor that promise that the school made that this is asynchronous in nature. So I want to make an introduction video to kind of set up the course, kind of give the lay of the land, maybe go through the syllabus a little bit so you feel confident in what you're about to learn. Okay, so two things off the bat. So for if you do want to come to the class, I'm going to do a 6 p.m. start time on Monday nights. Normally I would go 6 to 8, but maybe we'll just go 6 to 7. Let's see who shows up. Um, and uh, see what kind of uh, a learning experience we want to have together. And if no one shows up, okay, no problem. Uh, then let me just kind of march through what the course is going to be in terms of design. And in terms of contacting me, you can email me directly. Uh, my email is in the syllabus, bhkurbs at gmail.com, bhkurbs at gmail.com. Um, obviously, I have a Redlands address, and, and, and you can use that, but it's better. The Gmail is better because it's easier for me to access it through my phone, etc. And it's just a faster way to get a hold of me. Uh, also, you have my uh, phone number in the syllabus. You can always text me anytime. I don't care. Just whatever you need to get a hold of me, go ahead. And if we needed to have a brief conversation, you know, to, to clarify something, or if you want a quick feedback loop, a uh, text message also works. Okay. So all of this said, what's this course about? And I'm going to do a couple other videos to kind of flesh things out and, you know, hopefully get your energy and your mental, you know, gears going around the subject because I want you to uh, learn. So we're talking about business ethics, business ethics and society, essentially. Right. And so there's a lot of connections that I want to create throughout this course. My teaching style, I use what I call an interdisciplinary teaching style, which means I don't just talk about ethics. I want to talk about multiple subjects and how they connect. So I want to talk about ethics. I want to talk about law. I want to talk about economics. I want to talk about technology, maybe a little bit about politics and media and money and power and you know, all these different elements, how they come together to create the society we live in, the rules we live under, and how that society and those rules evolve con in a concurrent fashion, in a connected fashion, because that's what happens. Like, one of the coolest things I ever learned, you know, and I got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, this came from, I believe it was a silly title, but the book was called, I think, Standing on the Sun or something like that from these Harvard professors. And they were saying, look, there's two tracks that society travels on, like a train going down uh, these two tracks into the future. Okay. There's two tracks. Think about what they could be. There's two main things that this train of society is heading along toward the future. What are they? Okay. Think about it. The two tracks, you see? The two tracks are technology and rules. Technology and rules, which is really interesting. Because there's another book that I read years ago, and this was back from like 1933. And uh, there's a paper that I've written about this uh, that I'll put up. Uh, there's some videos. There's something called The Evolving Ethos, which is a really, I think, rich conversation, interdisciplinary conversation, which connects law, ethics, economics, science. It connects all this stuff and shows you how the world works. And it's so cool. So this book from 1933 by a guy named Jesse Thornton was called Science and Social Change, I believe is what it was called. And what he was essentially saying is that there's two minds, two brains that create the society. Two brains, two professions. Which two professions do you think they were? 
Well, if society is a train heading along these two tracks, technology and rules, which two brains would create the society? You ready? It's the engineer, technology, and the lawyer, rules, right? And you can say a lot of things about lawyers, I get that, which is why ethics is important, right? So technology, the hardware of society, bridges, telecommunication systems, uh, standardized building structures, um, roads, like all the different hardware of the society. Then the software. What are the rules for driving on the road? What are the rules for you know building vast complexes? What are the rules for dealing with fundamental technology like fire or something more advanced like nuclear or maybe something even more advanced like space travel or something? What are the rules? The software, the t the, the the how we have to use it is coming from the rules side. That's the lawyer side, which of course ethics and law are related. You read a paper already for the class. Law is the ethics of yesterday. Ethics is the law of tomorrow. There's a connection. Do you see that? That ethics is the conversation we're having about how should we live? How should we treat each other, right? And then those conversations slowly crystallize into the rules that we have to obey, right? So a long time ago, women couldn't vote. Like what? Because that's what the society was. That was the ethos, the belief system of the society. And we're like, okay, that's not ethical. So we have to change that. And then after we agree as a society to change it, the law changes, the rules change, okay? Or maybe there was, you know, discrimination at a, at a, at a very, at a worse level, like in the past. And we said, well, wait, we, we got to change that. It's a civil rights movement. So we have a social conversation. We have an ethical conversation. And then the ethical conversation becomes crystallized into a, a, a social sort of consensus. Yeah, we need to change the rules. Boom, the law changes. Ethics becomes the law, okay? But the law is also influenced by economic factors. Like, yeah, we should be better to the environment. We should protect the environment. Yeah, well, we need to make money. So we need to lobby the government so that we can, you know, clear out this forest and turn it into money, which is not always a bad thing, but maybe the rule should be that they have to replace the forest. Or maybe, you see what I'm saying? There's a relationship between these different factors. These different factors, these different areas, these different professions, these different realms of knowledge, different disciplines, inter disciplinary learning, okay? That's what the class is about. And I'm gonna do my best to convey what I would normally do in class on video, okay? There's a number of different videos you'll see already on the syllabus and I'm going to add more. So be on the lookout. The syllabus says other videos will be, you know, to be determined or see on Canvas. So I'm gonna add them, all right? And I would like for you to watch them. Your main assignment each week though is already baked into the syllabus, okay? So you have if uh, hopefully I was clear about kind of the, the opening of how everything connects and the lawyer and the engineer and technology and rules. And this is going to come together as you learn. So by saying the kind of se let's segue now into the syllabus, you know, you have a, a paper week one, I believe it's about Albert Carr uh, here. And that's a one page paper. Just follow the syllabus in terms of delivery, the way it's set up right now, send your papers directly to my personal email, bhcurbs at gmail.com. Um, I don't often create the, the structure inside the system to like put the papers in there and I'm going to try to figure out how to do that and if I can I will but right now your default is send your paper directly to my personal email bhcurbs at gmail and make sure that in the subject line you put management 667 your first name and then the assignment or you know, your full name if you can and then the assignment so I can keep track of everybody. All right. In general, I'll do my best to get grades out that by the next week, sometimes it does take me two weeks, okay, depending on my student load and my, and my workload and whatnot. But I will do my best to get that back to you. So week one, Albert Carr. Week two, uh, and there's also a video. So every week there's videos. There's going to definitely be one video that's like a discussion board where you'll have to respond and maybe interact with each other. The other videos in general, I'm probably going to ask you to say, what did you learn? Or I might ask you a question or two. And if you don't see any questions on the video, under the video, you don't have to do anything with it. But I hope you'll watch them because how else are you going to learn if you're not, if we don't have a class, if you don't watch the videos. All right. So try to stay uh, up to date with that. Week one, Albert Carr. Week four, there's a, a paper called The Leadership Space, I believe. Week six is called the Ethical Decision-Making Process Paper. Uh, I probably will put an example paper up for you. I think you'll enjoy that. 
Uh, we'll go into a little more detail later. And then week eight is the term paper. Normally there would be um, a presentation, but in this class we probably won't have that. So I'll figure out how those points get allocated. Uh, but the term paper is more of a research paper. So definitely you wanna pick a subject that you care about that you're interested in. All right, this video is getting a little bit long, but hopefully this creates a bit of a introductory structure into like what the class is about, what I hope you will learn, what your takeaways can be. It's an invitation to meet me on Monday nights for a short class session. Uh, and again, uh, clarity that you do not have to do that, but stay up with the readings, stay up with the videos, uh, pay attention to Canvas and what you gotta respond to, and stay up with your papers and be in communication with me if you need me. All right, I uh, hope you have a good class and uh, have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.